Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder to some truly mainly shopping. And we are using all the discounts that there are. I begin with the premium account uh, to renew my year of premium. And this is obviously um, courtesy of the eight years anniversary sale of War Thunder. And then I just purchased my way through all nine nations, purchasing tanks, helicopters, planes, and ships. Uh, there are certain exceptions uh, when there are no discounts, for example, or when they will be cheaper, even if they don't have a discount when it comes to ships with the rearrangement of the naval tech trees, where I just gave you the hint in one of the latest uh, informational videos. So why do I do this to myself? People are always wondering, Napalm, you recently had 150 million civil lines. Why do you still uh, show us how you grind civil lines? Why do you still care about this? Man, you're, you're done for good with civil lines. No, no, no. There are two factors. First of all, I just calculated it through what it would cost me to purchase everything, get it into a crew and buy the expert qualification without a discount. It would have been 120 million civil lines. And then there is also the story of my clan boss, which at one point had 170 million civil lines. And he didn't care about discounts. He didn't really care about saving it up because, you know, it's a digi digital uh, artis artificial um, stuff, you know, civil lines. He is now below a million. Also, you have to just simply face the fact that Gaijin is more and more um, featuring high tier stuff and, you know, developing more and more about the modern stuff. And that costs an insane amount of RP to get and an even more insane amount of civil lines to get. And if you look at the repair costs, the ammunition costs, the cost for getting it into the ace, uh, the expert qualification, that will add up. And all of this stuff that I am buying, I unlocked myself. Never have I spent a golden eagle to uh, get myself civil lines. And I think that all that you can see, I really played for myself. So I played chats, I played tanks, I played ships to unlock it all myself. So here there is one of the exceptions that Project 50 will cost 610,000 civil lines next patch. So it's technically worth to, uh, to buy it now to save some extra few. And here, despite the discount, it's not worth uh, purchasing the Project 56 because it will get seven, down to 77,000 civil lines for whatever reason. And you can see I'm just looking through the numbers because it's easy to calculate. It's significantly uh, more difficult to just buy everything and then get the civil lines by just playing. Since I'm playing for seven and a half years, I can tell you. And yes, uh, for the lols recently, I also just unlocked and didn't buy low tier stuff that was more or less copy, stu copy and paste stuff from other nations. So maybe there will be some low tier gameplay replay uh respading or spading videos if you guys want to see this and uh, you know it's oddly satisfying to just go here into the uh tech tree and just buying you know be a little bit like a shopping queen um also the edge of peacock i also purchased because it would be ex significantly more expensive also in the next patch so it's kind of I didn't include this, like also the Soviet ships that I didn't buy. Um, so that is a bit of a weird calculation. So all that I bought, I just calculated what I also saved on this. And yeah, as you can see, it's adding up um, all seven nations. Um, there was also the one thing with uh, China that we'll see in just a moment where some people have said, well, you know, it makes no sense that you stopped and, and just didn't buy the tanks because you were locked on the other tier. That is technically true, as we'll see in just a moment, but there was still so much other stuff to grind, right? There was still so much other stuff to unlock in other nations that I just was okay with having that one rank locked. That was literally the only rank that was locked. 
so uh, here you can see it that I just begin to buy my way through and yeah uh, we will see where this will lead us in the end result you can see where I just um, you know spend four and a half millions 3.2 million 2.8 1.6 here in China's case I'm approaching nearly two and a half million that is the lock tech tree and again yeah it's oddly satisfying to do this so this is once a year um, between the end of October and beginning of November and I just told you some weeks ago and I got feedback from people playing War Thunder they were thanking me because they literally saved themselves millions of silver lines because they did exactly the same thing they were about to purchase something just delayed it uh, a few weeks they were not playing it anyway and so yeah that is what they will save and at the end it will add up just imagine that you will spend let's say 10 million uh, but you could have just saved 5 million of this try to grind 5 million that will take a while um, here I also made the purchase before I unlocked the Centauro and then uh, I played for it and then I bought it again oddly satisfying so again back to my clan boss that that had 170 million silver lines he still can make money but the problem is he has to really care about money so when I am in the position that the economy goes down the drain or that something else happens you know with a big economy crash I have lots of silver lines to continue my uh, War Thunder career for a while uh, without falling back to gold needles which other content creators sometimes exchange this and I don't blame them for doing so um, because I had you know a few dozen millions before I even started doing YouTube and the Gaijin partnership program helps but let's just talk then here about those low tier tanks I'm not uh, playing them anyway I didn't intend to play them um, some of the vehicles that you can see that I buy that then are fully spaded I got for a test drive and and you know made videos about uh, and that is one of the perks of being a content creator but I still had to unlock and buy it myself so that is still the caveat I don't think that as a normal person you still can get those insane progresses in the tech tree because War Thunder is the job that you pay for let's face it and sometimes it's even fun believe it or not so uh, we're getting closer to the final results uh, the last few Swedish aircraft now get bought I unlocked so far only three and yeah that is a net value uh, for Sweden of over 2 million but the overall value is 25.656 million and that bought me up to 1701 vehicles which is insane that is literally a lifetime of grinding and as you can see there is also a good portion of them being spaded whereas the overwhelming majority I did by playing and the majority comes from before I even made YouTube so that was just a video where I show my dedication to the game the dedication to the grind but also how to save uh, a lot of civil lines once in a while and that is the reason why I have so many silver lines not just because you know I have premium account and premium tank ships planes whatever I actually once in a while believe it or not use my brain and so can you and this is why it is important to watch my videos because at some point you can profit from the information that is spent there so that's it for me today thanks for watching thanks for listening let me know in the comment section how many silver lines approximately you saved while the 50 percent discounts uh, did you actually follow my instructions a few weeks ago and uh, how do you, how much did you profit also how much did you spend on those sales and you know in a few days time we will see the 50 percent discounts on certain packs and i might do a video on that as well uh, till then thanks for watching thanks for listening again please give this video a like if it is, subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of war thunder